now we're going to look at how to create a body which will uh, keep following you, trying to avoid um, any walls that are around it. In order to do this, I'm going to uh, create a new sprite, which I have done, and I'm going to create a new object for it. Um, and I'm going to call this object follow, and I'm going to set the sprite to be the follow sprite. Okay, So in this case, it's kind of like an evil statue. The first thing I'm going to try is I'm going to click on the step event. The reason why I've chosen the step event is because I need it to keep checking uh, where the player is on the screen. So the first thing I'm going to try is this one, move towards. I'm going to drag that in and then it says X, Y and speed. Now the X and Y is going to be the player. Now the player could be anywhere on the screen so we don't know up beforehand what the position is. So to make sure I always get the right position I can use a little cheat which is by is basically putting a name of the player dot x name of the player dot y okay and this is the position of the player in the x and y coordinate system of the screen this is why naming your objects is really important because when it comes to writing code like this you will want to obviously use the real names okay i'm going to set the speed to be one and then I'm going to click on OK and then I'm going to add it to uh, the room. Also to make sure that it works the same way as the other um, buddies I'm going to get it to restart the game. So I'm going to go to Add Events, uh, Collision with Follow and I'm going to get it to restart. I'm then going to test that Okay, and obviously it's on the second level, so I'm just going to get the second level first. And here we go. Now, as you can see, the player the follows coming. It's following me quite nicely. Fortunately, it's following and going through the walls. So we need to obviously fix that. In order to fix it, we need to use a bit more uh, of the Game Maker code. Okay, uh, so I'm going to go back to Follow, and instead of moving towards Play, I'm going to get rid of that. And this time, I'm going to go to um, I always forget where it is uh, to Control, and I'm going to drag in Execute Code. As you can see, this is now a text editor, and I can type in the code directly here. The code is mp underscore and where it's got x, I'm going to do player.x, comma, player.y, comma, speed is going to be 1 and check all is false. Close bracket and send code on. Let's look at this command in a bit more detail. MP potential step will essentially test every time it tries to move to see whether it's moving in the right direction and if there's a solid wall in the way. If there's a solid wall in the way, it will do its best to try and get around it. It's not perfect, it doesn't always get there, but it will try. The first two arguments are a bit like the move towards, which says the position on the screen you're trying to move towards. In this case, the player's X and Y position. The third argument is speed. Uh, I've set it to be 1 to give the player a chance. And false, um, if you set that to true, it will try and avoid everything on the screen. Uh, if you set it false, it only avoids solid objects. And because I just wanted to avoid the walls, that's why I've set that to false. If I click on tick and then I try and run it, hopefully you'll see a different result this time. So I'm going to beat the level, move on to the next, and here's the player, here's the follow, sorry, as you can see, it's trying to move around it, let's make sure it gets in the wall away, as you can see, it's trying to get around the wall, coming around it, and then it comes straight 